Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to finally finish the game. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did quite a bit. Number one, I farmed up a ton of runes. I want to make sure that I could get 12 more levels. That way my vigor, my strength, and my dex could all be at level 60. And I went ahead and I leveled up my guardian sword spears. I made sure that I put the black flame tornado on both of them. So if you haven't done that, Go ahead and do that. You don't have to use the sword spears. You can use any spear, but it should be a spear or some kind of pole arm to be able to use the black flame tornado. That's going to come in handy when we get to the last boss of the game. Okay, and that is all I did. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first. Let's go ahead and level up, put four into vigor, four into strength, and four into dex. Let's go ahead and talk to Roderica. I see. You're here. Oh, uh, so it wasn't just me this happened to. I think he'd forget who you were as well. I knew he'd burn himself out. Old Hugh. I think we could talk him into leaving the round table hold now. But maybe it's better that we don't. It's only proper that we respect his choice to stay. I'll remain with Hugh. He made me who I am today. I'd like to return the kindness. In whatever small way I can. Please, become Elden Lord. Hugh was always saying that you were a lord. To him, so slay her with the weapons he smithed. Slay the god Marika, who cursed us all. Okay, let's go ahead and come over to Jarberg. We're going to come over to the NPC and give him Alexander's innards. Oh, hello again, cuz. No, I haven't changed my mind. I'll begin my journey once I'm ready to go as a warrior jar. In search of glory. Wow. Cuz. Are these insights from Uncle Alexander? <sighs> Thank you. Cuz. I'm a warrior jar. So I need to be strong. I can really have them. Right? I understand. I'll get strong. Strong enough. I deserve to have uncle's insights. I don't think I'll see you again. When I set out, warriors are supposed to work alone. Goodbye, cuz. And thanks for everything. I'll never forget you, cuz. We're gonna go ahead and fast travel back to Jarberg one more time. So the NPC has went off on his adventure and he has dropped us the companion jar talisman. That just boosts all your pots that you throw when you have that talisman on. Very niche. I never use it, so do with it with what you will. Now let's go ahead and go all the way up to the mountaintops of the giants. If you have bought everything from Brother Corn, 
you don't have to worry about this part, but if you haven't, you're going to want to go to the Snow Valley Ruins Overlook. So I did not buy all of Korn's incantations. So he'll still be up here in the mountaintops of the giants. If you did, then he's going to be in uh, Lindell, capital of ashes. And I will show everybody where he's at in the capital after we get done with this. Go ahead and talk to Corn. Master? Where did you go? I'm right here. Please, show me. Your finger, your rhythms and calculus. Let me document the motions. Master. Master, where did you go? So what we have to do now is we have to exit the game and come back in. I'll see everybody in just a second. Alrighty, let's go ahead and pick up his bell bearing and his armor or attire or whatever you want to call it. He'll also drop his flail as well. Now we're going to come all the way down over here to the Forbidden Lands. We're going to turn around, we're going to head towards the capital. We have one more talisman to get, which should give everybody a trophy. I have already platinum this game, so you won't see any of the trophies pop up, which should be obvious considering this is the last episode and I'm like, oh yeah, I've done all this. It's like, duh. We're just going to keep heading back towards the capital. I'm going to run past all of this stuff. Now, if you haven't brought the elevator up already, you're just going to have to pull this lever and fight some of the enemies until the elevator comes up. We want to take the elevator down. Over here, we're going to have a bunch of those weird, crazy looking corrupted Erd tree beasts. One's going to be roaming around. Two are under the ground. They'll pop out once you run in there. Now, before we get running in there, I want to show everybody where we're heading. That way we can have a good assessment. We're going to drink our wondrous flask of physic. And then straight ahead where you see that Erd tree root or branch poking out, we're going to be running straight for that. That is going to be a talisman that we're going to put on. Just keep running. Do not stop.
you die here, that's okay. We get the Erd Tree favor plus two. Just try to make it to the stairs. Once you get up here, their aggro should break. Okay, now we're going to go over to Lindell, capital of Ash. We're going to run straight ahead. We're going to be hopping down a hole here in just a moment. This will take us down to the sewers. A while back ago, I showed everybody there was an item that we couldn't get. Well, this is how we get it. Just try to inch off. Right here, we're going to get the Crimson Amber Medallion, plus two. Now let's fast travel back to Lindell, capital of Ash. So over here, where you see the big spear that killed the dragon, we're going to be running this way. Grab that rune arc. If you have already bought everything from Brother Corn, he'll be right here. Or, well, right around here somewhere. Um, but just in this general area. We're going to come up this way. Jump on this roof. Jump across, get a hero's rune four. Then we're going to head southwest. We're going to get ourselves the Mending Rune of Perfect Order. Now, you can get his attire. I'm not even going to bother getting it. Um, if you fast travel back to Linda, you know what? We'll exit the game and come back in. That's what we're going to do. I'll see everybody in just a second. Alrighty, we are back. So for exiting the game and coming back in, we can get Gold Mask's armor set. Don't bother fast traveling. I don't know why I was like, oh yeah, just fast travel. It's like, ah, quit out, come back in. Much easier. Now we're just going to backtrack a little bit. We're going to head north. And then northwest. Then we're going to climb this ladder.
Now we want to be very, very careful. There's a gargoyle over here patrolling. See him down there. We only want to grab the item that's just over here. If he aggroes to us, that's okay. We can run from him. Get a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. That'll be the last one we get of the game. And then just run inside here and you should be safe. Now let's go ahead and fast travel back to Lindell, capital of Ash. We are finally done wrapping up all that side stuff. We can head straight to the boss fight or boss fights. We're going to have four in this episode. Take the elevator up. This is going to be the easiest boss fight we're going to have out of the four. So for killing Gideon the All-Knowing, we get his scepter along with his armor set. Super easy boss fight. Should be able to just pummel that guy. Right here is an amazing healing spell, her tree heal. Let's rest at this grace just to get our flask and everything back. And then we're going to come to the top and get ready for another boss fight. This one's going to be a little harder. Not much harder, but a little bit. Right here, we're going to summon in Nefeli Lu. Figure it's only right to summon her in to fight her father. Go ahead and drink our flask and then go through the fog wall. It's been 
A long while, Morgoth. Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. That will be all. Thou didst me good service, Sirosh. I've given thee courtesy enough. <sighs> now I fight just horror loo. Watch out for that attack. It is no joke. Thy strength befits a crown.
for killing Horalu, we get his remembrance. I'm going to sit at the grace for just a moment. And then we are going to be putting on our Guardian's Quality Sword Spears, plus 25. I like to dual wield these. Again, you don't have to have the same weapons as me. I just prefer the Guardian Sword Spears. But you do want to make sure that you have Black Flame Blade. Make sure you have that. Let's go ahead and activate this summoning pool. And then get ready for a tough boss fight. I may die in this one. Radagon hits hard as fuck.
amazing looking boss, but a bullshit one. It will legit go all the way across the arena. It's just, it's a horrible boss. I think it looks really cool, but overall, this boss just sucks to fight. Bam, black blade, black flame blade. get the Elden Remembrance for killing the Elden Beast. We legit dunked all over that fucking boss. I absolutely despise that boss, but having Black Flame Blade makes it a cakewalk. Maybe not a cakewalk, but a whole lot easier. And I forgot to put on the Erdtree's Favor plus two. Okay, so before we summon in Ronnie, what we're going to do is we're going to light this grace. And then we're going to go back to the round table hold. I'll see everybody over there. We can see that the finger reader is dead. Now, real quick disclaimer. Before I started the video and all of that, I went around to all the wandering mausoleums and I duplicated some of the boss remembrances. One of the two, or not one of the two, two of the boss remembrances that I wanted to make sure that I duplicated was Malakath's and the Dragon Lord. They both have some really cool weapons and skills. Number one, his Black Blade and um, his spell or incantation Black Blade. Really cool stuff. We can also go ahead and use Hora Lu's Remembrance. Doesn't matter which one you pick. They're both kind of like meh. Right here, Dragon King's Crag Blade, so freaking cool. You can turn into like a smoke lightning and do a really cool attack. Love it. The incantations just doing those layers, laser beams that the Dragon Lord used on us, but it takes quite a bit of faith to be able to use them. Still cool though. And this, uh, both of them are decent. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. I always choose the Sacred Relic Sword. So, dealer's choice, I suppose. And that's it. Let's go ahead and go back to the Erd Tree. Or, actually, not the Erd Tree. 
I mean, we are going to the Earth Tree, but we're going to the grace called Fracture, Fractured America. All right, everyone, let's watch the last cutscene. The battle is over, I see. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars, a thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. into fear, doubt, and loneliness, as the path stretcheth into darkness. Well then, shall we? My fair consort eternal. All righty, everyone. This is where the walkthrough ends. It's been quite a journey. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching my videos and following along with my walkthrough. Hopefully it helped in some way or you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.